Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from Breezy Reef and I finally got the time to do an update video on my 90 gallon mixed reef and a couple things right off the top um, I actually have two less fish in this tank since the last video and unfortunately I intentionally got rid of my copper banded butterfly and my fox face rabbit fish um, with the butterfly fish she was really hard to keep I have another video explaining um, how I cared for her and the, the different feedings I do for her. But um, I was having to work away from home and stay away from home uh, a couple days in a row here and there and it was really hard for me to um, feed her consistently like I wanted to on a day-to-day -day basis. And after a while she just really, I think what happened was she started to actually waste away. She uh, wasn't getting what she needed. I wasn't able to keep up and I just don't think there was enough food in my rock and in the tank to sustain her and uh, kinda like survival of the fittest uh, the large Lamarck's angel there started to actually uh, bully her around quite a bit when um, for many months they got along fine so I ended up catching her getting her out of there and I took her to the reef store um, and donated her to the store so it was kind of nice in the way that I definitely lowered my bio load in this tank by removing that fish. And that was the uh, main intention of removing the fox face as well, was that fish was a tremendous eater and uh, actually had a hard time getting food to the other fish because of how aggressive um, the fox face was at, at feeding time. So those two fish are gone. Um, lightened up my bio load quite a bit because those were um, two of the three biggest fish in this system and uh, you know other than that everything else is going pretty well I've had some diatoms I've been battling a little bit here and there and I actually did get a little outbreak of cyanobacteria but over the course of a couple of weeks I had to invest a bunch of energy and do a couple of pretty big water changes of almost 40 gallons each um, and siphon the sand two times for each, uh, once for each of those water changes. And that pretty much uh, eliminated the cyano. But I am battling a little bit of diatoms. Um, other than that, everything is really going really well in this tank. And all the corals seem to be responding and growing fine under these five reef brights I'm running. So real quick, I'll just take you around the tank and show you Kind of a close-up of the corals. Here's my serpent star. Uh, this green cynelaria, which was a frag at one point, is actually turning into a really nice piece. I really like how this was just a little leather of little uh, frag of finger leather that I put on this rock, and I really like how it's growing up the ridge of this rock. Kind of a neat shaped rock. Uh, the frog spawn is just as huge as ever. That's doing really well. Um, with some of my zoanthids in this tank, I actually have die off on some of them, on some of the colonies. And I'll show you here, and maybe somebody that watches this video will be able to help me identify the problem. But in a lot of my larger colonies, little areas kind of, they just start to shrivel up and they kind of waste away. I've lost maybe two or three of my colonies to this entirely, but most of the time maybe half of it goes away and then part of the colony kind of hangs on and does fine and then it regenerates itself and they all grow back. So that's happened with quite a few of my uh, zoanthid colonies. The pallies, there's no problem with the bigger polyps. Those are the pink pallies, really large colony. <laughs> you can't even really see the Miami orchid uh, acro back there, but it is actually doing pretty good. It's got some good color going. Uh, in the evening when the blues come on, the, uh, the pallies all close up and it really looks cool under the actinic lights, um, the Miami orchid. Uh, this cynelaria recently did like a shedding, 
so it's still somewhat closed up from that but starting to extend out and it actually looks really clean now and is a little bit more vibrant than it usually is. You can see it compared to this one which has all its polyps extended. Um, Sunset Monopora, I mean just growing really nice. I think from since the last video you can see the increase in growth under this other rock here. Um, this green acro is just going crazy. There's new branches coming out every which way. I mean I can almost see a difference in this daily. Uh, my Capricornus doing really well. It's actually starting to shoot out some new ledges and uh, it's doing it's really healthy. I had some really cool little zoanthids here, maybe like five polyps of this gold. But they just kind of caught whatever the other ones are getting, and they disappeared. In a matter of days, I was kind of bummed out at that. All the mushrooms or cordias are doing fine. Uh, my little mini carpet anemone is doing really good. Actually, this is doing a lot better now that the butterfly fish is out of the tank. It actually would pick on it. Oh, a few times a day and kind of keep it somewhat ret retracted down into the rock there and that thing's been opening up a lot more since the butterfly's been gone and I also now have uh, little feather dusters popping up which I never had while owning that fish it just completely wiped clean all the feather dusters from this tank so I'm actually there is some some pluses from not having a butterfly fish uh, in a reef tank setting Uh, this is another example of what's happening with my zoanthids. I mean, there's really nice healthy patch and some of these are just kind of shriveling up and sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't and they just waste away. So, still trying to figure that out. Uh, the Supernatural Monopora doing really well. I think in the last video I just puttied it into the rock. Now it's completely encrusted up onto both of these rocks. It's kind of like in a crevice right in between where the two rocks meet. And then even on the tips here, let's see if I can capture that, it's got new growth extending out in some different directions. So that's kind of cool. Um, here is the tricolor, and it's doing really well. You can actually see it's encrusted almost the entire chunk of putty that I used to attach that frag. And it has, it, it, when I first put it in, it was just the two branches, the two main branches sticking up there. And now there is at least six or eight different branches sticking out. And my bubble tip anemone which had split into two has now split into three. This one right here was one anemone, I don't know, about four or five days ago and it just split and finished um, the process yesterday. So there's the two anemones and of course I really hope they just kind of uh, stay where they're at. They're still located right here in a perfect spot where they're not affecting any surrounding corals. Uh, there's the, the other one. The cinnamon clown. Uh, my little naphthia tree, or kind of like a carnation coral, it's almost completely gone. I gave it a shot. Um, the the reef store that I bought it from said I would I could get away with feeding it once a week, just when I fed my tank Fido, but I should have known better. Um, it went downhill real quick. You know, I've had it in there only a few months and. I'm down to just three little pieces and they're getting smaller daily so I just kind of stopped worrying about that one I'm not gonna feed my tank extra just to try to get those things to live 
uh, let alone thrive. I did move my fungia plate down off this ledge, which was actually recommended by another member on YouTube. Um, I think it did pretty good right there. That's actually a really flat rock, but I actually switched these two and put the blue mushrooms up here. And the fungia plate's doing good. It's down in the sand where it's probably happier. There's my blue linkia. So that's it. That's kind of a brief update on my 90 gallon mixed reef since the last video. Things are doing really well overall. Um, just trying to get through a little bit of diatoms, but other than that, uh, everything is doing beautifully. So really happy with the system. Thank you everyone for watching my video, and I'll talk to you soon.